Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Monster Ball Suicidal, and uh, today, I'm gonna drink some water. <sighs> it's good water. But today we had, uh, we had a good dinner. We had, um, I forget what it's called, um, but it was a, it was a Portuguese meal. My mother made it. We had, uh, a soup with um like most of its constituents kind of separated from the uh the actual soup so you had um soup with a, a little bit of meat in it some lots of spinach and then some uh, some pasta um and then you'd have like a, a bowl of meat next to it and a bowl of cabbage and carrots and potatoes and all that kind of stuff um and uh, you'd kind of like just kind of add whatever you want into your soup kind of thing kind of dealio and have it all together and it's it's a, it's a very dry meal despite being like soup just because all of the um the meat is pretty like cooked you know and then it's not really like seasoned there isn't really like a sauce to go on it it's just it's just the soup right so you get you get the soup but the uh, the meat itself is fairly dry um despite that it's a very it's one of my favorite meals it's uh, it's delightful. It's expensive and time-consuming to make, but delightful. Uh, so that's what we had for for dinner today. It was a pleasant surprise. I I noticed when I got up this morning, like one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I could smell it, you know. I could smell that uh, that 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 sort of like um like whiny kind of and like. Uh, a bit of like, like spice and just a, a very familiar and and welcomed uh, smell for me. So it was it was a pleasant thing to wake up to in the morning. And then uh, dinner came around and we got to actually eat it. It was uh, also very welcome. It was uh, it was good. I liked it. That was what I had for for dinner. And then. Uh, Update on the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. I watched uh, the third movie. And honestly, like, I said it before, but the like the whole story and plot and all of that, like that all just I just don't get it. You know? Like I'm sorry, this this is like it's it's past the the spoiler. Um the, the third movie anyways is old enough to be spoiled, okay? So if you don't want spoilers for the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie, um, then, uh, you know, dump, dip, dip, ditch out now, okay? But, uh, Trotto, so you have, you have the, the, the female lead, right? Um, you got Elizabeth. And, uh, then you have the, like, primary romantic lead, who is, uh, Will Turner. But then you also have like this weird like dude that she didn't like who was like abusing her and stuff and she kind of like sold herself to who's also for some reason a romantic interest and she's like kissing him and stuff and I'm like you like sold yourself to him to, to save the person you actually loved and you loathed every moment of it. I don't I don't understand where the like why are what's what the heck's happening here? And then she's also like, yeah, just just kind of like, it, it 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 just there was a lot of romance stuff in it and like kissing everybody that exists, and then it was all just it was all just weird, I guess is the way that the best way I could describe it. It was just it was very weird, like all of the romance and stuff, and it was it just it felt forced in. I'm like what what. Like, the main character here really should be, like, you know, Captain Jack Sparrow, okay? Like, why the heck is there some other chick getting into relationships with every guy she happens to meet? And then why the heck is this one dude who's, like, seeing her do this, just like, yeah, it's okay, I still love her. Like, what the heck is happening here? It was, it was just so stupid. Unbelievably stupid. And uh, the third movie really started to, to kind of, like harp on that it was it was it was like just straight stuff man like why 
I don't, I don't get why they had to just force this romance garbage into the into the equation. Like it, it's not a romantic movie, right? Like the purpose of watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Nobody's watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, oh, I really just like I don't really get all this pirate stuff. But there's um that the Will and Will and Elizabeth. They just they're just such a cute couple. I just love. Nobody's doing that. Okay, literally nobody. Nobody out there is is watching Pirates of the Caribbean. For the for the romantic, you know, story. Okay, nobody's doing that. They're all watching it because Captain Jack Sparrow's funny. So why why are we getting this weird, stupid romance stuff in it? You know, and I'm like, I love romance. Okay, I'm I'm a heavy romantic. Okay, I love I love my my romance and in, uh, in stuff. I'll cry and I'll get invested in it and I'll get really happy and I'll like. You know, be all gushy gushy and stuff, okay? Love it. Pirates of the Caribbean is just like. Just not a good spot for romance. You know, like it just. It didn't make any sense why it was there. It really took me out of the movie, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, no. Pir Pirates of the Caribbean, it's like. Um, I, I recommend watching them if you haven't. They are they are enjoyable movies, but like don't don't get invested in it. You know what I mean? Like just just kind of don't don't get invested in the uh, in the story and all that because it doesn't it, it it doesn't make any sense. There's no like yeah, it just it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Did, what the heck? Did we get the flesh pound wave? So just uh, yeah, just watch it and turn your brain off and, and have some fun with with the uh, with the jokes and the and the gags and all that because that's fun. Okay, liked it a lot, but yeah. So that was that was what I uh, that was what I watched yesterday, and then um, I also started watching this uh, this Netflix series called Bonding, which is spicy. <laughs> it's raunchy. It is, uh, but it's good. I really liked it. Um, it is. Uh, it's about this. Uh, so there, there's, there's like kind of two main characters, sort of. Um, there's the, 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 the one character who is a. Uh, uh, she's a dominatrix, and she's like going to school. And she's building relationships and and focus and and her like side of the story kind of focuses on, um, like tackling the 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 issues with like accepting that in yourself and and you know being open with your partners and um, being okay with with being known as, as as this is your job and not being ashamed of that and and. Uh, um, kind of like having that uh, that romantic stuff going on on her side, uh, an excellent spot for romance to take place. Okay, unlike one place, you know. Um, and then the other ca main character is uh, this gay dude, who gets kind of like roped into the dominatrix scene, but his like real thing is that he's kind of a comedian, um, and then he ends up. Uh, they 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 there's like some. Um, I don't want to spoil anything because it's fairly new, but it's a good, it's a really good show, and uh, there, there's it, it focuses on the the kind of dynamics that come from from being sexually open and uh, like being gay and uh, living living the life that you want to live and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't necessarily go like totally accurately with it at all. Wouldn't recommend watching it if you're trying to learn what, like, you know, kink is. Not really a good resource for that. But, uh, I feel like it tackled it a lot better than a lot of places do, for sure. And, um, it would be, it would be, it, 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 it's better than a lot of places I've seen. And, it was very enjoyable. It was very funny. I had a good laugh. Um. Some of it was a little too cringe for me, so I had to skip parts of it. Uh, but it was it was really enjoyable, and um, yeah, so I, I give it a I give it a thumbs up. Again, not really a, a totally accurate representation of of what um, 
like these these kinks and, and stuff are but it does go into it, it, it's much more accurate than a lot of things that I've seen but it's still not totally accurate you know there's a lot of places where um, consent isn't being taken properly there's a lot of places where you know it isn't being as respectful or like welcoming as it, as it should be there isn't um, they're not showing like the aftercare and and all these other things that that you kind of need when you uh for the slaughter, when you have this but um and they they kind of made a joke of it uh at times as well which was like kind of not so nice um but again they they, they did a much better job than than a lot of places that i've seen and a lot of shows that i've seen um especially with showing how like um like, sort of just normal it is, because uh, there there was one point where one of the uh, the clients was getting tied up, and uh, like as they were tying the uh, the client up, they're the, the the clients like oh you know I, I like it a little bit tighter than that you know it's not a criticism but just uh, I, I do like it a little bit tighter or tighter than that there's no real like sexual tension there's no real you know like anything like that it's it's just a normal you're just being tied up because like you know at the end of the day it isn't the act of tying necessarily that that is uh, is is arousing it's it's the restriction that that comes from it. That, uh, that that is usually what, what does it, and it, w it was nice to see these these more like intimate fashions of uh, of kinks kind of be displayed in in a more accurate fashion. Although again, some things weren't. There was there was a lot of stuff that was kind of eh, I don't know about that. Um, so it, it had its ups and downs, but it was it was very funny and um, yeah. Just, just don't necessarily try to learn anything from it, but uh, if, if you're open with, uh, it goes into some very, um, yeah, it, it, not a good thing to watch if you're not open to, um, a lots of different kinks, but if you are, then it's not something you're going to be you know, sitting down and, and wanking it too. It's it's a comedy. It's a, it's a romantic comedy at the at the base of it, and it does that pretty well, I think. Um, I'm looking forward to some more episodes to kind of get some more closure on on some of the things that have kind of been happening towards the end. But uh, by and large, it was it was really really enjoyable. So big recommend. Big recommend for sure. I've been wanting to watch. Um, Death Note recently as well because I I, uh, I type a lot of Death Notes. Um, there's there's one quote that comes up often on Type Racer from Death Note, which is is it Death Note? I think it is right. It, it's not seeming like a real thing anymore. Oh my god. Um, there's one quote that comes up often, and it's the one where um, he's reading like the. The, the page in it that, that explains how the, the death note is used. It's like right at the beginning of the show. Um, and he's like, uh, the person whose name written in this note shall die within, you know, however long. And, uh, you know, the person writing the name must have the uh, the face of the person they're writing in, uh, in mind so that you can't... My God! Like, just... What happened here? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Um, anyway, what was I talking about? I can't remember anymore. It's gone. I guess we'll end it there. Um, 15 minutes is long enough, I suppose. Oh my god. What the heck happened there? Like... Like I, I feel like I was just like constantly under attack, just constantly there was stalkers and just so many crawlers and like everything just constantly just 
swarming me. It was insane. What the heck? It was everything I could do to, like, not just immediately get dusted. And every time I would try to, like, escape, there would just be something there. I finally found this path being, like, okay to take. And then just death, man. I saw my health at, like, one for a bit. And I'm like, oh, maybe we'll make it. Maybe... Maybe I'm far enough away that I can't get hit right here and, and I'll be able to heal. Maybe there won't be a Zed on the other side. And But no. No, death was in the cards. Death and despair. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. If you like, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.